what does career progression look like in your field? Like what's next? One of the really good things about being a PA is you don't have to stress over making it to the next rank. The Army needs PAs. There's always opportunities to promote as a PA. You can go work for the IPAT program. You can go into what we call an LFAT program, which stands for Long-Term Health Education and Training, where basically you can specialize and they have an LFAT program for emergency medicine, one for ortho, one for general surgery. They're actually adding more. So you can, uh, you know, you can get into an LFAT program or you can do some of there's definitely opportunities for broadening assignments and to progress uh, even further. They also really um, respect people that are PAs that might have ranger tabs, airborne, air assault, things like that. In my pediatrics rotation, like just knowing that you're there taking care of those kids and, you know, those kids, like they look up to you, like there's kids that are, you know, they want to be a doctor because of you and they, they look up to, you know, they, they respect your profession. They respect what you do. One time I was actually at a clinic over where I work at on my base. And there was a soldier who he was deploying and he needed a, a medication refill. He actually got caught up for like the last minute. You know, like you're going to you need to be out of here in the next 48 hours kind of thing. Right. It was his last day there and the clinic was closing. And, you know, he's like, hey, like, can somebody please help me? get you know get her get a refill on my meds and the lady that was working at the pharmacy at the time she called i was pulling the mod shift uh at the time and i was getting ready to leave but luckily i, I just stayed behind a little longer because i had a couple of notes to finish i got that call she asked if i was willing to refill the medication for him and you know given the circumstance i was like sure like i'll take care of him he came back from his deployment and uh he left me a note and also got me a bottle of wine from, you know, the country that he visited. So just, you know, knowing that you can kind of, uh, that people do appreciate your work and people, they respect, you know, they respect what you do and you make a difference in people's lives. My job is also to train medics. So you have to be able to be a good leader. You got to be able to teach. You got to be able to pull pull people under your wing, right? Some Some of who may be, a little more motivated than others to learn, right? I got medics, you know, that some of them are, like they really want to get into nursing. Some of them want to go to medical school or PA school. And then I got some that are just, they just are just trying to get out and want to do the bare minimum until then. So, you know, being able to work with everybody, understand what you're working with and be motivated and keep that motivation high and ensuring that you can not only be able to train uh, train everybody, but being able to relate to them. I would also say being able to relate to your patients is really important, especially in the military. Being an Army PA is different because um, I have to be able to understand, okay, like you just were doing PT at 630, right? So I understand that if I'm seeing someone say at 08 or 830, and they say, I hurt my lower back during the ACFT deadlift trying to max. I know how much weight he was trying to lift. I know what he was doing. I know what it entails. And that's where being prior enlisted also benefits is because I can relate to a lot of what these soldiers deal with and go through. And uh, I would say being prior enlisted is not essential to being a, a PA or an Army PA, but it does help. And I can see why. A lot of, uh, for those who don't know, the actual iPad program requires you to have at least four years of service. That's really good information. So as we land this plane, last two questions, what advice would you give your younger self or that person that's out there trying to pursue this field? And then the second question is, I ask this to every lieutenant that I bring on, if you could do it all over again, would you do it the same way or would you... Uh, choose a different path. Advice I'll give my younger self and anyone pursuing this is don't give up. There's going to be a lot of obstacles that get in between uh, you and putting in that packet to be a PA and getting into the program. The most common one that I hear about is, oh, work. I'll, I'll just put in my packet next year. Don't give up. You really have to put your desire to 
make it into this program first before any and everything. And, you know, I've had people when I was enlisted try to um, kind of shame me for, you know, missing out on work to get those college classes done or missing out on leaving work early so I could go retake my SAT or uh, taking time to, you know, just taking time to really focus on on my goal, which was to become a PA. And I would say, like, in general, don't give up. There's always going to be stuff in the way. There's always going to be stuff to stop you. But you can't give up and you can't lose lose sight of the goal because that's really what separates uh, those who make it in the program and those who don't is that willingness to put forth the effort and jump all of those obstacles. As far as whether I would switch branches if I could do it again, absolutely not. I love what I do. I wouldn't pick a single other branch other than the one that I'm in and the medical specialist corps as a PA. Uh, the beauty of it is not only is it a great profession, but I'll never get bored with what I'm doing. There's always so much variety in the patients I, I'm going to see. And even if I get bored working in a specific clinic or a specific specialty, I can work in a different one. I can go be a radiology PA and read plain film somewhere. I could go be a an ortho PA and, you know, help people with broken bones, right? Or I can continue to work in the primary care setting, see a little bit of everything. I mean, my, my heart goes out to people that are in, like, you know, other branches, like in the con in combat arms and, you know, everything else. But me personally, it's not really for me. I love what I do as a PA. I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change it for the world.